Oh, Jesus Christ. Yesterday, no, I don't think you're here to stay. No, I don't think you're here to stay. So tell me what you want, tell me how you want it, tell me all the reasons that you're running. Hello, everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Luke. Thank you very much for watching. Do appreciate it. We are in Devizes, we're literally just around the corner from where we uh, need to deliver. Um, got three runs scheduled today. We've got this one, Devizes. We then got a Swindon and a Sirens system planned as well. So, with a bit of luck, we'll be finished relatively early. Although, having said that, now that I've said that, we probably won't. So, <laughs> so that's a great, great for me to say that. Uh, in other news, I've had a little shave. So, that's good. Oh, look, there's someone learning to ride a bike in there. Look, I think WTTL also based in there as well. So, that's good. Yeah, uh, I've had a little shave. So, apologies for looking like I'm 12 years old. But yeah, we're going to uh, Devizes. We've got some bags on us. We're in the blue curtain-sided uh, trailer as well. That's what we're pulling. And my God, yesterday was it windy. I was, um, I should have I should have done a vlog yesterday. It was so windy yesterday. Unbelievably so. But um, never mind. <laughs> so yeah, hopefully you're all having a good day. We got some traffic up ahead according to the sat-nav. I think they're doing some roadworks down here, so that's a little bit annoying. Oh, there we go. Look, look at this traffic. This is not good. Never mind. Right, so I'm going to go. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave the dash cam on so you uh, you can just see how long it takes to uh, get out of this traffic jam. But uh, yeah, I'll see you when we are unloaded and we're heading back to Sweden. So we're we're currently stuck at traffic lights. This is what the, all the traffic's been. I decided to end the, end the uh, the cliff I done because it was just gonna it was just taking too long. Uh, anyway, we need to go other side of this roundabout where all these roadworks are, and then pretty much take a right. I guarantee someone's going to be blocking my exit, uh, my entry. There's a lorry up there now, he's leaving space. But all the cars are just going to ram up and I can see this really messing me up. Because I need to turn right and I won't be able to turn right. There'll be cars behind me, so they can't go anywhere. And, and the vehicle, yeah, basically it's going to, if I can't do this, then I'm going to have to go straight down, turn around that roundabout and then queue up to get back in this way, from, from the other way, sorry. But of course, I don't want to do that. Just now, a, a van struggled to get around the corner because the cars were so bunched up. So this, <laughs> this will be entertaining. As soon as the lights turn green, that is. What are you doing? What are you doing? Seriously? <laughs> she stopped to let the van out. Where's the van going to go? You're blocking the way. Idiots on the road, man. Seriously. I'm so sorry. <laughs> right, here we go. Letting them go. I can see that my entrance looks like it's blocked. Let's see if they left enough room. I can't go mate, oh, she's in the way. So yeah, that car back in was slightly in the way. The bike was letting me go. 
but uh, like I said loud enough so she can hear me. I can't go and make that car's in the way. Never mind. Anyway, we're here. So it wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be, so that's good. Right, uh, I'm going to go. I will be back when we're unloaded. You join me just as I'm getting out of the place I'm delivering to. Are you come in or not? Because I got a funny feeling my trailer will be blocking you in if you don't come. As I thought, my trailer would be blocking them if they didn't come. So we've got to sit in this traffic now. Uh, could be in this traffic for a while. Just trying to think which way round it went. See, there's a car look, there blocking this entrance. I'm blocking behind me. But in my defence, I could not see round the bend until I got there. So it could have been clear for all I know. Uh, right, so it's three-way control. The first way is common pass this way. The second one's on now. So in a second, this side should go. I don't think anyone's going to let me out. Could be wrong. <laughs> Bless me. Oh, my last video, I did like a a dab sneeze. It was like, a shoot. <laughs> So uh, yeah, it's quarter past 10. It's actually quite late in the day, uh, in the morning. We've, uh, it, takes a, it just takes an hour to get back. Uh, and by the time we're loaded as well, it's probably gonna be gone 12 o'clock before we're even out with our second run. That's bad. Um, I'd like to be out on my third run by 12 o'clock. And uh, I won't even be out with my second, so it's not good. Luckily, the next two runs I got out, both local runs, so, um, I have a chance of finishing by four o'clock, but we'll have to see. Right. Well, that car's let me out. Very nice of them. Let's get crack a lack in. I um, remember when that van was trying to get out of this station here and a car flashed him to come through and I was at the lights. I was thinking, what is the car doing here? What what was she doing? Because I thought he was indicating to go right, as in the way I was heading. But um, that's because I couldn't see an indicator flashing. But you never know. The driver might not have been able to see an indicator flashing either. So assume the driver wanted to go left, in which case flashed him out. So I apologise for that uh, incident earlier. Why is there a man in the road? I'm not going to say thank you. No, I did slow down. Thank you, though. I don't know what it is about today, but people are really winding me up on the roads. I uh, I don't get road rage, and I believe in keeping calm at the wheel. But um, yeah, there are some silly people out, out there today, that's for sure. I might be one of them. <laughs> I know a few of you might be saying, oh, you're the silly one, but uh, never mind. Right, we're heading back to Swindon. Got an hour's drive ahead of us. Let's get cracking. Uh, and then we've got either a Swindon or a Sirens Esther next, I believe, but that's all subject to change as well. So yeah, let's get going. I'll see you when we are loaded. Yeah. I just wanna be with you. Yeah, I just wanna be with you. I just wanna dance all night. Forget my problems, I might go insane. I don't really give a damn what they say. And now you know, now you know it. Hey, little lady said you feel the loaded for Swindon we've just got to try and get out of here which is very difficult after this car goes I can go excellent eh? yeah so we're now loaded we're heading to Swindon it's only a 20 minute drive uh, the problem is we've been in there for quite a while it's now 20 past 12 and um, we're only just leaving for our second run. It's not ideal. So um, luckily the place we're going to, have been there a few times and they can be quite quick. So that's a plus side. So we should be there for 20 to one. Um, 
with a bit of luck, I'll be out before half past one. That's what I'm hoping anyway. And then back here for two o'clock. Hopefully, loaded by three o'clock and then deliver, delivery sort of like half past three to the last run. Yeah, <laughs> it's gonna be a late one. And they want me to go back and night load as well for Monday morning. Um, but before, <laughs> it just gets worse. Today, I can't go back and night load with this trailer. I've got to drop this trailer off, get another trailer, because this one's got to have an MOT next week, apparently. So um, I've got to drop this trailer off, get another trailer put on, and then come back and night load. But I don't think they're going to be staying on too late today, because it's a Friday, which means I'm coming in tomorrow. Working on a Saturday. Not ideal. But never mind. All we can do is is go as fast as we can, as safely as we can, get our load delivered, and uh, hopefully, hopefully get night loaded tonight, but I can't see it happening, but never mind. We'll have to take it as it goes. If I'm, I'm prepared to come in tomorrow, I don't think it'd be a late start either. I mean, I'd, I'd like it to be an early start, um, I'd like to be there for seven, but I don't think they will be there at seven, so never mind. Never mind. Right, let's get this load done, and then we'll see what the time is. I reckon we'll be out by half past one. Okay, we are tipped. Finished our second job. I said we'd be here for quarter two, which we were, and I reckon we'd be out before half past one. Ooh, which we are, it's quarter past one, so we're literally in there for half an hour, which is fantastic. It's just what I wanted. So uh, all we need now is for the other place to take just half an hour, but I don't think they will. But uh, the place I've just been to, uh, where you uh, park your truck is basically right next to where the bags get dropped off. So they're in and out of every bag in like 30 seconds, do you know I mean? It's a good 30 seconds a bag. But you've got 30 odd bags, it's about 15 minutes, which is good. Some places would take at least a minute a bag, which is then it's at least half an hour wait. Um, I think I got my maths wrong there. <laughs> Never mind. Yeah, but what I'm trying to say is half an hour is good. Normally it takes an hour. Um, but yeah, the weather today is quite weird. One minute it's rainy, next minute it's sunny. It's quite windy as well. Um, yeah, it's just one of those days today where it's quite it's quite weird, the weather. But uh, never mind. We need to get on over to the left lane because the right lane now goes right only. This is Swindon for you. Unnecessary lane changes. There's a roundabout coming up. There's a double roundabout and um, i got to take up two lanes pretty much to get over the first bit. I flush you out. Do you say thanks? No, you do not say thanks. Very kind of him, isn't it? I flashed this guy out as well. Oh, he said thank you. Stay to the left. Now cars can get out past the bus. And I got a car already coming up the right-hand side. Look. Give it them an inch, and they'll take a mile. I need both lanes to get around here, otherwise the trailer will mount the curb. Everyone wants to give way to everyone. I'll go after this white one. Yeah, I got in that left lane then to allow vehicles to overtake the bus, but as soon as I got into the left lane, the car behind me was like, ooh, got an overtake. So I indicated right, fudged on over, and then the car on the left wanted to get down the inside. I was like, Ugh. So it's one of those things where you need to take the room to manoeuvre around the bend safely. But both car users were completely, uh, what's the word? I don't want to say arrogant. It's not, it's not necessarily uh, arrogance, it's more like, they don't have the knowledge. They don't know what room I need. Some car, you can have, you can be the nicest car driver in the world, and it happens all the time, where a car driver will 
will stop and they're, they're flash you to let you go through but they haven't left you enough room so you're like no you've got to come you haven't left me enough room thank you very much but you've actually held me up <laughs> um but yeah never mind i i do think that um car drivers should know a little bit more about hgvs and like because you're not when when i passed my car test all i was told was give hgvs room and that was it i'm not told why do you know what i mean luckily my dad was a truck driver so i kind of knew why and i always need to take wider turns to get around the corner but until you actually drive a lorry or be in a lorry you don't really realize how much room you actually need to take up we are big vehicles we're like 10 times the size of your cars Never mind. I'm rambling on now. <laughs> Nothing against car users. I, I think it's not their fault. They they should be taught it at their lessons. Uh, or, or part of their theory should involve more HGV related questions. But no, 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 never mind. <laughs> I'm just proper rambling on now, aren't I? Right, we're going to take the right lane going around this corner because we need to go right over here. And the left lane does not go right. So time now is 20 past one. We will be where we need to be at South Cerny in 10 minutes. So we'll be there for half past one. I suspect I won't be out until half past two. And it takes about half an hour to get to where we need to be. So I expect we'll probably be at our next drop at three o'clock and probably be there for an hour. So that's four o'clock. We'll be back until half past four. Then I've got to drop the trailer off. I definitely won't be back tonight though until after five o'clock. And I. I suspect they want to go home by then, so looks like I will be working tomorrow. We'll have to see. We'll have to see. Anyway, I'll, uh, I'll catch you when we're loaded. Right, we're now loaded and we're on our way to our final run of the day. Oh look, my favourite company's just about past me. Woo! Now, did you see that? Like, this place is so fun to get out of sarcasm intended um, yeah so we've actually been in there for quite a while it's now gone quarter to two and uh, yeah so we're in there for about an hour come on this road is rubbish to get out of very rarely is it clear both ways Right, I can go after this next car. Go, 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 go. Yeah, so we're in there for about an hour. Um, spoken to the guys. There's no way I'm going to get back again today after dropping this trailer off and picking up a new trailer before five o'clock. I mean, there's a chance. I said there's a chance. I said I'll drop the trailer, reload with the other trailer that I've got to pick up, and then I'll let them know. But they just said no, coming tomorrow. So I've got to uh, come in tomorrow for half past seven which ain't too bad because like i only live five minutes away from here anyway like this this is part of the cotswolds water park and i live just basically the other side of this road we actually go past my village every day <laughs> um so yes uh, i expect i'll probably be leave my house at seven o'clock in the morning so it's quite late really you know considering i'm at work sometimes four or five in the morning so i'll be leaving my house at seven o'clock tomorrow get to my uh, yard for five past ten past seven do 15 minutes check get to South Cerny for half past seven eight o'clock which is what they've requested and uh, he said they get me loaded within half an hour because there'd be two of them doing it that's what they've said so I should be back in the yard well before nine o'clock and home uh, well before nine o'clock so that's the plan go to work for a couple of hours be back at my house by nine o'clock. Um, just trying to think, I'm going to sign my sister, I'm going to go this way. Sat nav tells you to go on the A419 and come come down the A419, it's just quicker to go this way. ETO is three o'clock, it's still three o'clock, so about the same. So yeah, we're now going to Siren sister, which is just around the corner, we're literally 10 minutes away, be there for three o'clock. Um, hopefully they're quite tip, uh, quick. I've been I've been tipped here a few times. Uh, this particular place I'm going to on Love Lane, they um, do it from one side of the curtain. So I've only got to open up one, one curtain, which is nice. 
and um, they use a, a telehandle reach thing. And the bags don't go that far away either, so I'm hoping to be out there within half an hour, 45 minutes. These are looking at me. Oh, Jesus Christ. Those are minesweepers, man. That was a security. There's loads of them. There's loads of minesweepers. There's literally a hundred people with, with um, not my mine sweepers. I'm listening to an audio book at the moment. Well, I was listening to an audio book about uh, the war and that. <laughs> not mine sweepers, metal detectors. Oh, that's that's weird. I just called it mine sweepers. There's about a hundred men and women there with metal detectors doing that on the grass. That's what that guy in the high vis was. He's security, making sure no one goes in. By the looks of it, he's uh, the gate man. Um. <laughs> That's cool. Little thing like that has got me excited. That's something unusual. You don't see that often. Hundred odd people, you know, sweeping for metal. Ah, <laughs> oh, dearie, dearie, dearie. Yeah, so I can't remember what I was saying. Yeah, hopefully we'll be out of here by four o'clock. Uh, back in the yard by like half past four. And I've got to sort the trailers. Hopefully finish by five. I'm not going to bother washing the truck tonight. A, because that's what everyone else would be wanting to do. And B, because I've got to come in tomorrow anyway. So, I'll... Uh, I'll take this other trailer to get loaded tomorrow morning and when I come back, I'll um, wash it then. Or I might start slightly earlier tomorrow morning and give it a wash before I go out and then uh, get loaded and come back. And when I come home, I'm gonna go straight home then. Who knows? There's a truck show that sometimes happens in that field there. We've, uh, we've always said we're gonna go. We never end up going. And it's literally just around the corner from where we, uh, where we live. So we need to go to that truck show in Sirencester. Definitely. Never mind. I don't make the rules. I can't pick and choose where we're going. Oh, wind's vibrating in the cab. Anyway, um, I'm going to go and get this load off and then we're going to head back to the yard and sort of trailer. That's it. We are done for the day. That's all three runs done. This is something called... What's, what's he doing? <laughs> yeah, we're on a lane or road, if you like, called Love Lane uh, in Sirencester. That's where we've just delivered to. I was gonna show you some reversing and stuff and trailer changing when I get back to the yard, but I think if I do that, that'll just be in a separate video. But uh, in fact, no, I probably won't even do it. Too. I've done it. I've done a trailer a trailer change before, so yeah, I'm not gonna bother. <laughs> Sorry, maybe in the future, but not today. So apologies if that is something you want to see because it's not something I'm doing today. So yeah, um, we're, we're done. Done for the day. Um, we're gonna be back in the yard for four o'clock. So, by the time I got the trailer changed over and stuff, I imagine it'd be half past four. Well, it should, be, it should be less than half past four. It should be more like quarter past four. So there is a chance I could still get loaded tonight, but they did say that it's not ready. So I'll make a phone call anyway. At least I've made a phone call. And if they want me today, I'll come today. If not, then it'll be tomorrow. Because I'd rather get it done today than have tomorrow off. Do you know what I mean? So we'll just have to wait and see. But uh, that's going to be it for today's vlog. Uh, unless I am going back out. I don't think I am. So yeah, thank you very much for watching. I uh, really appreciate it. I realised then I was slurring my speech a little bit. <laughs> Yeah, I really appreciate you watching my video. Thank you very much. Uh, until next time, drive safe. Bye-bye.